As I mentioned before, your unknown dipeptide is a different procedure. First of all, you'll see with our micro centrifuge tube that there is a pellet and a liquid layer. You want to remove this top liquid solution. You do not want to remove the pellet. To do this, take your pasture pipette, start removing the top layer. Remember, do not touch the pellet. And transfer it to the vial. You may need to do this several times in order to remove the top layer. Again, make sure you do not disturb the pellet. The next step is to dry the solution that is in your vial. Here's our vial and here's the solution. In order to do this, take the black pipe that is given to you and connect it up to the orange compartment called air at the top of the fume hood. Once you've done this, you then want to move your hand down to the knob called air. Open the air slowly to your left. Remember lefty loosey, righty tidy. Once you've done that, you'll hear a sound, a hissing sound, more like and you can feel the air on your glove. At this point, you want to take this tube and place it in your vial. Now, it's important that you don't place the tube all the way into the vial. If you do this, the solution will go everywhere. This air will slowly dry the solution that is in the vial. Give it some time it may take anywhere from 5 minutes to 10 minutes, but I promise you, it will do the trick. At this point, you will now see that your solution is dry. The next step is to add HCl. Once you've added HCl, you want to transfer the solution to the ampule. Once you've added your solution to the ampule, it's now time to parafilm it. Let's grab the parafilm here. That is way too big. You could strangle an elephant with that. Really? Yes, really. You just need a tiny little piece like this. All you gotta do is put that around. There you go. You're all done and ready to give it to your TA. Remember guys, safety first. Don't forget your goggles lab coat, gloves, proper footwear. Common sense might be a good asset too. Before coming into lab, make sure you read your lab. And when in doubt, always, always, always consult your TA. See you next time.